it's freezing. Oh. Hi everyone, I'm Xenia. I live in St. Petersburg and I want to share some tips and tricks with you about the city and us Russians. So if you are planning a trip to Russia and consider visiting St. Petersburg, welcome to my channel. I hope my videos will be useful to you. So, let's get straight to the names. St. Petersburg is a young city. It's only 315 years old. But it managed to change several names in the course of its relatively short history. In 1703, it was given the name St. Petersburg. The city got this name after the saint patron of the first Russian emperor, Peter I. Then, in 1914, it was given a new name, Petrograd. That happened at the time when the First World War broke out. The original name St. Petersburg derives from German and Dutch, and Nicholas II wanted the name of the city to be 100% Russian, so Petrograd is purely Russian. In 1924, after the death of Vladimir Lenin, the leader of the October Revolution in Russia, the city was given a new name, Leningrad. It existed until 1991, when the Soviet Union collapsed. The city was renamed for the third time and got its original name, St. Petersburg. Except for all these, the city has a number of non-official names. The most famous and frequently used is Peter. It's just easier and shorter to pronounce it that way. By the way, this name is the oldest non-official name of the city. Foreigners call it Saint Pete. There are a lot of museums, palaces, churches and other places of interest here. A great number of cultural events take place in Peter every single day. That's why St. Pete is often called the cultural capital on the media. By the way, the first Russian president Boris Yeltsin was the first to call St. Pete the cultural capital. Why capital, would you ask? Moscow is the capital. Okay, let me explain. The first reason why we call St. Pete a capital is that with a population of 5.3 million people, St. Petersburg is the second biggest city in Russia after Moscow. The second reason is that the city was actually the capital from 1712 till 1730. But de facto, it remained the capital until the October Revolution in 1917. The geographical position of the city gave it a bunch of other names like the Northern Capital, which is also used on the media. Not for nothing is the city praised by many poets, writers and singers. Sometimes they compare St. Pete to other cities of the world. Thus, St. Pete got names the Northern Palmyra and the Northern Venice. It's called the Northern Palmyra after the actual Palmyra in ancient city in Syria. St. Pete stands on the banks of the Neva River and uh, plenty of its channels and uh, sometimes it's even called a city on water. 
thus sometimes it's compared to Venice in Italy and that's how we get to the name of the Northern Venice. Now guys, you know everything about the names of this beautiful city. Thank you for watching, subscribe, give your thumbs up and hit the bell button. See you in my next videos. Bye!